Hey, Peter here with Spring Tree Media Group. We're installing our spatial pendants uh, in, an, in a church where there is no attic, there's no way to get new cable. We've done several of these before. So we're having to use wireless DMX. And because we're going a one-to-one -one replacement, we're using our Spring Tree canopy that uh, designed to fit into almost any, uh, any type of lighting junction box. Has your strain relief for your uh, cable and it has your hook for your chain and we're gonna show you as we install it how we uh, get all this done. We took the old fixtures down already. We traced the electrical back. It went to dimming system, which you can't put a dimmer behind, you can't put a dimmer behind uh, a LED DMX controlled light. So we need straight power. So when we checked this back to the dimmer, we went ahead and took it off the dimmer and put it onto a straight circuit. Right now it's uh, turned off of course, so we can work. So we made up our electrical already. Got some SOJ cable going into the strain relief. We're using a 16.3 here, which I only recommend a 16.3 if you're going to one-to-one -to, -one to a circuit junction box. Do not use 16.3 if you're jumping from one light to another. Use at least a 14 gauge grounded uh, wire if you're using the included power con for jumping from one side to another. Every fixture is attached to the ceiling a different height. So we're measuring from the ground, which is why we're installing the power first without cutting the SOJ cable. We're gonna install the chain next. So we established the height for this room. Our lights are at 21 feet. Allocate for the S hook. I'll cut one link above. So remember when I was saying there's one place I don't close it. I close it here on the chain. I leave this open. Makes installation really easy. So now that I've got my height, uh, this is where it hooks onto the back of the spatial. We have, it does not include this. You'll have to do this yourself. We got, went ahead and included an eye bolt for it. You see where it, based on where it hangs, you have about this much extra you're gonna need to be able to reach the, the power con in the back. We're making up the power con that goes into the light. All connectors are included with your lights. You have both a male and a female, so you can extend from one light to another if you're in an open ceiling situation. If it's hard to see, you've got two screws going in one direction, one going in the opposite. The two going in the same direction, the outside one is gonna be hot, the middle is, gr is ground. So it does tell you, if you look carefully, it's kind of engraved into the plastic, but it's so hard to see. If you just memorize this, two screws go one direction, you know that it's hot and ground. The only screw that goes the opposite direction is neutral. And that'll be your white wire. Be sure you bite down good and hard. It looks like a micro screw, but it'll actually work into a standard screwdriver. Bite down good and hard and always check it. Make sure you have a good connection. All right, because up here we're using, uh, there's a tongue and groove ceiling we can't get above. There's just no way we're going to be able to bring in a DMX cable. So we're using these wireless DMX right here. These are our wireless DMX. Uh, they're uh, 2.4 megahertz, 13 channels on these. So no matter what's going on in a building, you're gonna find a good channel. Do not plug it in yet. Just plug in the, uh, the power right here. Several of our lights uh, have a power supply intended for these. So you can't put this in yet because if you do, it's gonna be hard putting the power. So once you get the power to this, let it droop off the back. Twist the light inside. See how I moved it? It's cattywampus. 
that gives you plenty of access to come in here, install the power to the light, twist it so it locks. Now, from the bottom, I pull the light in, so now it's level, and see I got the power in? Now I've got clean access to my XLR. The power's already done. Pop it straight in, we're done. This light's ready to go. Once we get power to it, we'll address it. And we'll have full control of this light.